In this video, I will discuss the most common parts of a license enabler file, referred to as an LEF or LEF file. The LEF file instructs ClickView on its available features, limitations, and extensions. First is product level, using the number to match with each ClickView software. 3 is desktop, 10 is server, 30 is publisher, 43 is OCX developer, and 80, 81, and 82 is SAP connector. Remember, you cannot enter a license from one ClickView product type to another. For example, a server license will not work with desktop, and a desktop license will not work with server, and so on. Another value of the left file is the client access license, referred to as a CAL. A CAL is used to provide user access to the ClickView server. This example visualizes the different CAL options, 50 user CALs, 5 session CALs, and 500 usage CALs. Another value of the left file is the license limitations. This example visualizes a few different limitation options. For example, number of cluster node 6. This allows up to 6 ClickView servers to be configured in a cluster. Or, license lease no. This denies ClickView desktop users from leasing a license from the ClickView server. Let's take a look at the license extensions. For example, PDF generation yes. This will enable ClickView Publisher to generate PDF files for distribution. Here are two helpful questions. How can I view the left file in ClickView Desktop? Click on the Help button and then License Update. Here you can view the product level. Notice it is 3 for desktop and the time limit value set for August 9, 2012. That means you cannot use the product after the time value date. Most recently, the time limit value is set in a test version. Next question, how can I view my left file in ClickView Server? Click on the System tab located at the top then License button, then ClickView Server, then ClickView Server License. Inside the left, you can see a few license limitations, the number of documents and session CALs, as well as the product level 10 for server. 